gonna get started here. I'm gonna turn up my sound volume just a little bit here. One second, stand by. Boom. Okay, that should be a lot better. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. <clears throat> uh, this is gonna be little bit short of a kind of a short stream I guess um, yeah I don't have too much time today there's some stuff I want to do and I especially want to watch uh, some football so yeah we're gonna jump in get started and uh, knock out some of these contests I guess you would say um, so yeah let's get into it pull this up here Hope everybody is having a wonderful Sunday. And if you're a football fan, I hope your team won last night. And uh, I think there's another team playing today at noonish. Okay, so here's what I've done off stream. Your Patriots lost last night. You know, I, I, I saw the highlights, Nathan, and I'm sorry to hear that, man. I was kind of hopeful for uh, for Mac Jones. He's a really, honestly, he's, he has a really bright future. He's a, he's a really good quarterback. So um, I think th they got something in Mac Jones for sure. All right, so I I, uh, I unlocked everything. I've been doing some tasks. I popped down here with the, the CLT, um, my fuel truck. He also has a service trailer. I resupplied that. That's going to be like my mobile tanker down here in that area. I forgot to grab this upgrade, which is the Step 310 Echoes. Um, race suspension, so I'll, so I'll do that here. And I also have done this cement delivery um, contract three times. Um, I usually don't do things three times on hard mode. I just don't really like doing it. But uh, yeah, we did it. Jones, is, oh yeah, he definitely was, man. I'm, I'm a Steelers fan, honestly, man. Gosh, I don't want to load this. So I'm going to plan this out here. So just bear with me. I'm going to do a little bit of planning. First first off, we probably... I need to go... F I need to go get this. But I think I can do this. As I'm transiting somewhere. The sawmill. I need oversized cargo, so I'm gonna grab that and bring that down to like here. Yeah, this is what I'm actually gonna do. These, these um, these pier things. But I'm gonna bring this oversized cargo down while I'm up here. Might as well just try to multitask here. Yeah, I'm a Steelers fan, but I don't think that we should be in the um, the playoffs, honestly. We really just got in by the skin of our teeth. Um, yeah, I don't really have high hopes. Let's see if this actually gets in packs. Yep, it's a little trick. You can load those with um, a small crane. It's a lot. It is the last ride for Big Ben. I'm kind of, you know, the thing is, is the the game of football has changed so much. Um, you know, when he first came into the league, he did really well, and you know, throughout his career, he has done really well. Okay, I mean, can't deny it. But something he's been missing is mobility, and. If you look at every team in the NFL, their quarterbacks can move. Even Tom Brady, like, say what you want about Tom Brady. That man can still move. What contract documentary film? Oh, okay, I know what that's, that is. Say what you want about Tom Brady, he can still move. Um, but yeah, you just, the game is changing. Quarterbacks need to be mobile, because if not, like, you know, they just crowd the box and try to stop our run. So, 
I don't want to get too much into it because I could probably talk a lot on on football. <laughs> oh, nice. <clears throat> yeah, man, I was I stopped into. Uh... That's awesome, Michigan. Though that's cool. Michigan's a good map, though. Enjoy that. Definitely enjoy Michigan. Oh, you finally finished it. Oh, you're on Alaska now. So, man, Alaska's a good map, too. I, uh, I actually popped into... Um, who was it? Uh, Lone Wolf's uh, stream for probably just a couple of minutes. Because I was over watching my, my buddy District B13 um, on Twitch. He actually started this, this challenge where he's actually going in reverse. So he's starting Maine... And then going backwards instead of starting Michigan and going forward. So it's kind of a, a pretty amazing challenge. So I was in there moderating for him last night. But yeah, I stopped by, uh, who was it? Um, yeah, Wolf. I stopped by Mr. Lone Wolf's stream and I saw you in there. So that's kind of cool. I see that he was playing some mods last night. are and everything if it's going okay yeah it looks like it's going good I might turn my camera off just to because I think it's like the camera is just being weird so we'll turn the camera off for now yeah we'll leave the camera off for this one because I think like the camera sometimes like acts up it's like blurry when it shouldn't be. So yeah. I just want the stream to be clear. So if that's clear, then we're good. So we're just going to drop this off. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to go finish this contract. Or this... No, no, no. I, I can't do that. There's other things I want to do before I go over to the sawmill. Because when I go to the sawmill, I'm going to be doing, like, um, two, two separate... What's it called? I'm going to be doing two separate contests. Sorry, I can't speak today. So I'm just going to drop this off here, and we'll come back and grab this. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, you're going to have fun in, in Alaska, that's for sure. Come on, buddy. Come out of there. See if I can tip him over. Oh yeah. I think it would like that one too. This crane is not strong enough. Okay, I guess we're going to um we're just gonna deliver this. <laughs> Might as well just go get these two metal beams and do this sawmill. Just load these two little metal beams on top. Uh, yeah, man, you're, you'll like the Yukon too. <clears throat> the thing is, Yukon is a little di is a little difficult. That's for sure. Do something here. Turn these down a tiny bit. Usually when 
I stream, I don't turn my um, my graphics up. I usually turn them down so then my my computer has better, more processing power to power the stream. But offline, I usually run like high settings. And anyways, like 7, 720p is not like a crazy. What is this? What is this? Oh, I. Oh gosh, yeah, this one. I remember this one. I'm gonna have to do that too. What's up, Luke? Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. Okay, you're born in uh, British Columbia. Next gen update. The only thing is, do you have like an Xbox like Series X or, or what's the new one? I think that's gonna be. Oh gosh, yeah, that's right. This crane is not powerful. I might just stack it on top of this cargo right here. Call it a day. Oh goodness. This crane is just not... Oh, Series X? Yeah. You know... That's something I, I think, like... I had this game on PS4 as well. And that's something, like... Um, that I noticed is... PC... You can make your graphics look insane. On PC. You really can. That's good enough, I guess. Whatever. Trying to be a perfectionist here. Don't really need to be. Just gotta get the job done. Just take it easy. First, I need to figure out where I'm going. Okay. <clears throat> but I mean, I heard I've heard good things about the uh, the new PS4, a uh, PS5. I mean, and then the Xbox Series X. So. All I know is the, the the graphics when you have them turned up, man, it, it is it's amazing. You know, right now they're not turned up, so yeah, it is. I think what I'm really satisfied is with the AMD graphic, oh, the AMD um, CPU. It's allowing me to to run um, the stream off the CPU, and then the graphics card is kind of free to just run the graphics. So yeah. Oh nice, you're doing online courses? And you said, this must be a university, ON. That's awesome. Yeah, the 3080 is, is, a, is a really, really good graphics card. Um, now, if I had... You know, the, um, this is a laptop, actually. This is a... I think I, I, I basically... It's in my specs on basically every video. It's a really a top-end gaming laptop. So, I mean... Whenever I, I've asked some, some pretty big streamers about, like, Hey, what should I... What should I do with streaming on this thing? You know, they've always said, like, dude, like, you have a good... You can single stream with ease. So... My struggle has just been getting the settings right. And it's odd, because I have... You know, the stream looks okay right now, I think. But whenever I stream on Twitch, I say this every stream... 
I'll stream on Twitch at like 6,000 bit rate and it looks crisp. Which is odd. Okay, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Okay, nice. Don't fall off again. Don't fall off. Thank you. Almost there. Oh, Ontario? Oh, okay. Nice, man. Um, sometimes you gotta be careful when you're dropping off cargo. Let's see. Usually this will work. Oh, I knew it. Now we got it. Store crane. Nice. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure that uh, pier delivery, warehouse delivery. I need to get, go get this uh, upgrade. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do right now, is go grab this upgrade, drop this trailer. Oh gosh, I gotta do these, these contests. But if you're doing hard mode, <clears throat> excuse me guys, um, if you're doing hard mode, it, it is kind of advantageous to do the contracts three times because there is a lot of money in them. And I'll kind of show you here in a second. Oh, more more gems like this. Yeah, this this day this game definitely is uh <clears throat> It definitely has been awesome. That's for sure. Okay, that's the race suspension for um, the step. And I'll be using that for sure. Oh, come on. There's trees, man. They really <laughs> they really mess you up. So yeah, I'll kind of talk about these a little bit here. So the pier delivery, so you can make, this one's not as much, honestly, but the warehouse delivery, this one, um, let me go up here. I think it's not showing for some reason. Here it is. You can make, wait, warehouse. There's one, oh, this one, the oil field. This one you can make seven grand um, in one shot. So you can do this three times and like, that's a lot of money. Like, <laughs> I just don't know if I wanna spend that much time doing it. <laughs> Grab extra cash and use it on your own, yeah. That's how you do cheese and money. What's up, Jordan Ellis? Welcome to the stream, by the way. What are my thoughts on the 114 SD and the Caterpillar CT681? Um, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I like I like both trucks. I mean, if you go back and look at some of my old streams, um, when I was in Maine, I used both of them trucks. I, I used the 114 SD a lot. Um, and my second time in Imandra, I used it quite a bit. Uh, the, the CT681, in my opinion, and this is something I found out. Um, I've been doing a little bit more research with about the, like the CT681, and something I found is so it has like that exclusive engine as soon as you buy it, and it, that engine is po more powerful than um, the regular 2700T, which is in in the top five. Uh, powerful not top five top ten powerful engines in the game and it comes with its stock you just have to buy it also i like that it's um it's upgrades 
It doesn't have a race suspension. That's a downside. The dead axle, it's a downside. But overall, I think it's my favorite um, heavy duty truck. Honestly, I, I can't. And that's something I've been thinking about is I was going to start another hardcore mode and start in main. And that was going to be a truck I was going to get. Um, the 114 SD, it's great, but the only thing is you got to wait till Alaska to get the, get its upgrades. And that's like, if you're playing through Michigan, like, it does take a little bit, so. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to do peer delivery, I think. Okay, so this is going to go to the peer. Deliver to the broken peer. What's up, codename George? Welcome in, man. You're loving your P12. Only missing a low saddle otherwise. Oh, man. I wish the P12 had a low saddle. That would be legit. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to map this out so then I can just... Uh... Cool. So we're going to try to make this in four minutes. Yeah, absolutely, Jordan. I'm actually going to do a review on... I'm excited to do a reviews on both those. It just... I have uh, other reviews that I'm currently doing right now. So that's the only reason I haven't got to those. But I will. And I'll try to add some good detail in there as well. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Loading platform. But yeah, I mean, they're not... Those trucks are not going to be, you know on par with you know the Tegas, the Vorons some of these larger 8x8s but I, you know I've used them, I think they can be used it just takes um it's going to take a little bit more finessing skill attention, etc but I've been enjoying playing some of the lesser trucks in the game actually it just the challenge is quite appealing. So that might be something that comes to the channel is. I might start this. I'm going to keep this hard mode, but I'm going to start a new one. And I'm going to go in reverse order. And start in main. Another good truck I think is from the, the heavy duty class is the, the International HX. The only problem with the HX is if you're playing hard mode, you do not want to buy it. It's like 170 grand compared to the cat. And yeah, I just it's hard to justify spending that much on normal normal mode like you get it for free. But yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so I hope this doesn't like um the peer delivery. Yeah. I'm hoping it doesn't take my cargo out of out of the trailer here when I back up to start this. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I mean, we'll see. Yeah, here we go. This, that's the only thing. You can't really back up too well with the Azov. It's, uh... Oh, wrong way. Wrong steer. It's dark. Which, which American 6x6? Oh man, I'm, I'd have to go look, honestly. But I can do that right now. Let's go back. Actually, let's go back to the garage. I'll actually... I'll talk about this for a second. Okay, American. American 6x6. Okay. Okay, so I gotta say, the ANK Civilian is pretty dang good. The only thing is, of course, we're, like, the fuel issue, right? That's a pretty good one for just low saddles. Um, the best looking, personal best looking truck. Oh man, that's that's hard. I'm probably gonna say either, like, the Dairy, <laughs> or maybe, maybe the Paystar. 
And that's another one I'm gonna say is probably one of one of the best six by sixes. I'm gonna say the pace one the pace star is really good. Gosh, man, the Navistars is insane. Uh, the Pacific P P five twelve PF is good, but I'm probably gonna say like a truck that's gonna carry you. Period. That has good like utility can kind of do a little bit of everything. I'm gonna say the pace star. Honestly. I just think it it handles a little bit better. But I mean on I'll, I love all, all these honestly. It's like it's such a hard pick for me. But don't sleep on the Cat CT681, I'm telling you. So like th it's this engine right here. This is an exclusive engine to this truck. It comes stock with it. All you have to do is buy it. You know, all of its tire upgrades and it's tire it's diff lock upgrades and um, it's all wheel drive. I'm pretty sure it's all just level capped. Very tippy with a medium log bed. I think I did run the medium log bed on it. Or maybe it was a small. But yeah, when you when you run logs on a truck like that, yeah, it's it definitely gets a little bit sketch. Okay. Let me cut my tires so I can back up a little bit further here. I want to get a running start. Because this truck is not fast. Okay. And off we go. Okay, so it didn't take my wood out of my truck. I thought I would have to, like, reload it. Um... That happens on a couple contests, actually. Oh, thank you. There's that glitch where it has like your cargo slots up there. These things are gonna delete me. I feel like it. Yeah, that's that's kind of true, Jack. It does. I mean, even like the Tega and, and like some of the the more stable Vorons. Like when I was doing it, when I was doing logging with them, it, you know, it's the hair on my neck or like you know the same like you kind of were a little bit heightened there like a little bit of a pucker factor so yeah when you do logs it's you just gotta go slow honestly the p12 can do a lot of good things with logs definitely which is why i bought it Yar versus the Lodestar. Um, let's see. Okay, so the Yar versus the Lodestar. I know a lot of people really love the Yar, and uh, you know I used the Yar actually a lot on my first playthrough, but. And it has those monster, those monster tires. And it does have better range than the Lodestar. Like, you're going to have, like, the roof rack, all that stuff. It's a lot better range. But, honestly, when I tow cargo in the Lodestar, I, it doesn't even, for me, it doesn't even think, um, or doesn't even really feel like I have cargo. It's so powerful. 
And the reason why is, is because it has a truck engine in it. But I think the Yar actually might as well. So I think it's it's kind of personal preference. But I'm going to say just because um, I like American trucks, I'm going to say the the Paystar, not the Paystar, the Lodestar is pretty dang good. Um, I bought the, the Lodestar because of these um, these mountain conquests, these mountain contests where you have to climb up into the mountains and stuff. And I didn't, I didn't want my scout or any other scout to do them. So yeah, I was like, yep, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the Lodestar and he crushed them. Okay. So, but yeah, I think it's just, um, if you want more, if you want a truck, like a scout that has like more range, I'm going to say the Yar, but I, I know for a fact the Paystar, um, does amazing with cargo any type of trailer it, it, it's hauling it just doesn't really care what's in the bed or what's on the truck as well hey what's up unknown user welcome in sorry i'm a little late on on welcoming you in uh radim welcome sorry if i butchered your name there welcome in happy sunday or sunday night wherever you're at in the world thanks for stopping in we're just doing a little bit of hard mode here. I just completed a, a contest with one of the slower trucks in the game. Okay, so we're gonna go pick up all these little consumables, return them, and then I'll probably go back to the sawmill and do the other, uh, I think it's the other contest. Appreciate that, Nathan. Thank you. I do have another video coming out soon. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to to make some comments on the new upgrades for those the trucks in Phase Six. So I just made a small, short video, just kind of going over what I thought about them. So that'll be coming out, and then I'm working on my Voron AE 4380 review. So yeah. Is this my first hard mode world? Uh, this is my first hard mode playthrough. I, I, I've had two normal modes. One was deleted by the, um, the game. The game deleted it. The other one I have 100%. And then this is my hard mode. But I do plan on having another hard mode. I, um, sometime I'm going to like take a break from this one and start a kind of a, a my own self-imposed hardcore mode that's on the hardcore mode, I guess. <laughs> That sounds weird, right? So I'm basically going to start backwards. Hard mode is awesome. I, I definitely was a huge skeptic of it. And something I've learned, guys, I, I heard today, like, I'm on a lot of, like, Facebook, Facebook groups for SnowRunner and stuff like that. And something somebody brought up was they were saying that they think that they made gas cheaper on hard mode. So I don't know the validity of that. So if anybody gets any type of like info on that, let me know. Okay, where's this other one at? It's somewhere. I know it's somewhere. There's one there, I know that. I think there might be one there, shoot. <laughs> okay, then I gotta find the other one. It's like down here somewhere. Bucks versus Eagles are about to start. All right, Nathan. Thanks for stopping in, man. I'll definitely catch a little bit of it when I get off stream. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to think where this one was. Usually you can, like, see the... I thought it was, like, around here somewhere. One. So here's the second. Here's the third. It's like hiding. Yeah, and that's right. Gas is different between each station. But um, someone, someone was saying that those prices, even the ones that were at the different stations, like you said, have changed. 
so yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'd like to I'd like to know more about that. Do I think about the what do I think about the boar heavy truck? Pulled the train, but you never used it again. Uh, Jack, if you go back to my my stream, I was um actually I did it on I did it on Twitch. Sorry, I pulled long logs with the, with the boar, and ever since it got its um its new upgraded tires, the boar has been awesome. When it got the the U what's it called the um the OHDs, the boar the boar's grip definitely increased. But yeah, I like the boar. That's actually a truck I'm going to be reviewing pretty soon. Outskirts of the trailer shop. Like out here? I already got this one. So that's one, two, three, and then there's one somewhere, dude. I don't even know. I'm just gonna like drive back here and then I'll just figure it out. What's up, tech? Happy Sunday, tech. Are you streaming today, tech? Everybody, uh, tech known is a streamer on Twitch. He has been doing hardcore pretty much exclusively. So. Yeah, Tech tried it out with the new tires, man. Also, the crazy thing about the boar is, um, I think, because the boar has the off-road gearbox and large tires, that it is a lot faster than a lot of heavy trucks. Like, anytime I was in, like, low gear, I was like, man, I'm going really fast. Or when I was in high gear, I felt like I was going really fast as well, like... Oh, you've been playing lots of League? Hey man, Heimerdinger, Heimerdinger mid. That was, that used to be me back in the day. I just dropped those towers on you. Power up those towers and then just hit you with that special. I haven't played, I haven't played League in probably, gosh man, it's been like since 2013 or 2014. Oh, you didn't buy it? Hey, Tech, I have a question for you. I know you'll know. Where? So, here's the second crate. Here's the third. Where is the one that's in this circle? Yeah, Codename Georgia did get better. With those tires, um, yeah, if you guys go to my Twitch and just check out my last stream there, I did a contract with some long logs and I climbed up over these rocks with it and it like crushed it. I couldn't even believe my eyes. <laughs> it is fuel hungry, Luke. That's, that's for sure. It does eat some fuel. Gosh, I need to find this. This is kind of getting annoying. Like usually it's it like pops out. Is that it right there? I think that's it. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm confused. Near the bridge. This bridge? I know it's over. I know it's over here. So we're just going to go that way. Maybe it'll pop up. Yo, A Baker 71. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed my reviews. Appreciate that. Yeah, man, that's awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. Comments like that are amazing, man. Thank you so much. I'm really glad I've, I've helped you out. But yeah, happy Sunday, A, A Baker 71. 
Thank you for stopping in. Okay, so that's where I take them. I guess I'm just gonna go up this way. I mean, we'll figure it. I guess I'll just figure it out. Usually it gives me like a, that's the destination it goes in. And those are the other two. So we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, the boar is super expensive, man. Really expensive truck. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping out today and, and hanging out and watching some SnowRunner and helping me out too. There it is, it popped up. Okay. So, let me turn off my engine real quick. Cause I've seen it. Ah, whatever. We're going. I'm going up that way anyways. So I think it's here. So it's it's usually it's all in these circles. They give you like a circle. But it was showing it's like right up here. Anyways, we're, we're just going to continue. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to drive up this way. I need to complete a task that's here. So I'll just do that too. It's called documentary film. And then I'll just continue and we'll figure it out. It's near the exit in the mud. Near the exit. No, that I picked up that one already, Tech. That was the first one I picked up. Good find, though. That was a good find, that's for sure. Nah, no worries. We'll find it. Yeah, that's honestly, um, Baker, that's why I that's why I bought this truck. I'm trying to if you ever watch my my um my video on hard mode. This is really my favorite truck in the game. It's it's always been. I don't really use it much anymore because I try to use other other trucks that aren't as good. But it just felt good to jump back in it. It's very efficient, like you said. And it just makes sense for me because I don't want to spend a lot of money on gas, so. And it may also it makes it easier so I can like talk the chat as well whenever I'm playing. The last one is Northwest. One bridge, okay. Oh shoot, it's over here. I forgot, wait, what? Are you kidding me? Is it really? I don't remember this one. There it is. Okay. Okay, sweet. Unknown user. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go get this one. And I'll probably have to refuel. We'll see. How, we'll, we'll test this out. We'll see if we can... Uh, <laughs> See if we can get back. 43%. Let's see it. Sweet. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I should have opened up my map and looked uh, looked at the whole map. I, I just thought they were in like a certain area. It's been a while since I've, I've played Tamir. Oh, man. I ha I'm having a blast in Tamir. I'll... It's, it's so good always coming back to these base maps. These maps, like the first couple maps, are just fun. Contracts are not too, bit, too big. You feel like you're moving through pretty well. Do 
Yep, exactly, Baker. Exactly, great point. I just want something I know I can count on in some really hard situations. And I know I'm going to find more really dependable trucks, but... And I do have a bunch right now. But yeah, this, this one is... Uh, it's... I, I used to call it confidence, because like, whenever I got in here, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go do, do whatever. What's my opinion on the Cola Peninsula? Um... Okay, so... Yo, Mr. Goose. Welcome in, man. Happy Sunday. Thank you for stopping in. What's my opinion on Cola Peninsula? So... Uh, I think first, first time, if you're a first time player in Cola, it's gonna be a lot different. Especially if you've been playing, like, um, through these three maps and then you jump to cola it's just a lot different you know you're using a radar trailer that you've never seen before you don't really have towers that open up the whole map etc it's very icy you're falling into ice ice mechanics uh it, it's it's it can, it can be difficult i'll say that but there's not a lot of really huge hauling contracts where you're delivering huge amounts of cargo except for like at the end but I think, I think it's difficult, but I think it's good because it's, it's, I think it's pretty balanced. The super snow can get really over the top. Oh, nice. That's awesome, Baker. Yes, that's right as well. Tech, that's a good point. The music is awesome. Nighttime, the aurora, and like the northern lights, so good. That's right, Tech did a scout only, um, what's it called? Cola Peninsula run. Yeah, they did nail, they did nail the isolation feeling. That's for sure. But I mean, like, uh, should I go this way? Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Okay, I stopped my engine. Good. Right, I'm gonna map this out so I can, uh, kind of talk the chat, I guess. Go this way. Through here. Up here. Grab that one. Come around. I guess go through this super crap. Go through this super crap and then back to, uh, my fuel source. Jack, that's a, such a good point. They did. You really do feel so isolated out there. I mean, it's it's a good like change, and I really enjoy it. But I kind of enjoyed like riding around town. Like in Maine, there's like a little town you go through. Michigan, there's a town. Like you're around civilization, but you're like. I don't know, carving up the back road, backwoods, I guess. Certainly difficult, yet beautiful. Absolutely. Oh, no worries, Tech. I think Tech, you... I think you used the Yar quite a bit in that, in that playthrough. Only seven flips in Michigan? That's good, man. That's really good. It's like what District says, man. If you're not flipping, you're not trying. That's another... He's, he started that... And that's kind of why I wanted to start over my hardcore and just skip right to main and work backward, backwards. District just got to main. And he's having, like, difficulty... And I love it. Like, it's so good. He's, he's doing really well. But, like, I don't know. It just makes the game so much harder again. Oh, you have two yards. Oh, I see. I see. All right, Baker. Thank you for stopping in, man. You're from Sweden. Nice. 7 p.m. there. Oh, you're welcome, man. Thank you for stopping in. 
Have a wonderful rest of your night. We call the run hard hard mode flipping. Nice dude. Sometimes in like these heavy mud spots, like, I feel like high gear in like this truck is be a better option instead of it downshifting nonstop. The infamous trees. Infamous tree has got me. Yeah, we'll take a little shortcut here. I normally wouldn't suggest taking this shortcut like this with... You gotta be able to count on your truck to do stuff like this. To go on like inclines and especially do stuff like this. Like, I probably would just came up, up around with a different vehicle. This marker, move this marker, and move this marker. Oh, there you go. Yeah, taking damage is pretty annoying. Especially here in Tamir, like on the roads, like this is the first area that I've actually refueled or resupplied um, two of my repair trailers that I've found for free. Gosh. Nice tech. That's awesome. Okay, so I think we should be able to make it back. Actually, we're going to move this out around the truck. I don't think I can probably hit those beams with this uh, crane. And yoink. Oops. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, you were right. It was in the river. Yep. I, I did notice that one earlier. I just... There was a fourth. Yeah, Redeem, that's a good question. Um, I guess it's just something they wanted to do to make it harder. Because I guess, you know, on, oh gosh, man, on some maps, you know, I can make like 30K just by selling trailers, all oh, these infamous routes. Oh, these routes are the greatest. 
I love them. Bring on more roots. Yeah, I can. You want me to bust out the step, the step 310 Echo, Luke? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, I can bust it out. Ah, oh, shoot, I went the wrong way. Yeah, as soon as I finish this, um, yeah, I'll go get it. Um... Okay, so Jack, this is a this is a subject that I actually um this is one that I wanted I almost it almost made me want to create another hard mode video. And I've talked about this on stream a lot about whether or not you should use the highest engine or the base engines to get better fuel economy. And here's my conclusion of this. And I, I'm actually going to so if you go back to my last stream um, oh nice. I'm actually gonna go get, bring this up here, get gas, and then I'll get the, uh, step out. Um, so, here's my thing. I noticed, I've been using this truck, um, ever since I got to Tamir. I used the, the small engine, and then, you know, I was moving my way up and just seeing the power increases from just, um those upgrades and I'm hauling the same stuff same setup everything but I'm noticing this I'm not noticing for this this is for just for this truck okay because I think this truck is a little bit different than other ones but I was getting the same fuel economy that I basically the same fuel economy that I was with this top engine right here so for this truck I'm gonna say I'd rather just use the the top engine and be able to um to actually haul cargo because here's a spot right here that had trouble right before i put the new engine in it coming up here with this trailer filled um it was stuttering through here and then just recently i brought you know that um that big piece of oversized cargo and it just walked up this hill so and the thing is like the the engine's working so hard that it's it's still pulling you know 4.4 .4 gallons per minute so i think for the azov get the highest engine for other trucks i would just test it out and just get a feel of what you're comfortable with um personally unknown unknown user i like the 64131 the best but um, I'm going to say the stronger truck is, is going to be the 73210, um, just because it has the biggest engine in the game. It gets relatively good fuel economy, it gets relatively good fuel economy. And then also, gosh, I gotta go take this around. Hold on a second, guys. Give me a minute. I gotta go refuel him and then I'll go grab that step for Luke. Um, now if we're talking like with or without the active suspension upgrade for the 73210, without the, the suspension, it's still great. I'm going to still say it's pro it's pretty much a better truck. It can do more things. It's relatively good on fuel, but with the active suspension, it just makes it a whole nother beast. Okay, let's repair this guy too. Okay, now, let me pull out of here, get on the road. Yeah, all trucks do struggle there, but 
I just noticed that it struggled a lot more without that large engine in it. Okay, so let's go get this step. Yeah, the, the seven three two one zero does feel nice. It's a, it's a it feel it does it's it feels good honestly. Here's the Danny boy, man. The Dan is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, the active suspense. I'm gonna take a drink here for a second, and then we'll, I'll uh, outfit this guy. The Dan, I mean, the active suspension makes it. Okay. All right. So the great thing is, it comes with the engine that I already want. The Voin. I could get the, you know, these up here. I'd rather stick with the Voin engine. I, I've, I've played with it. It's pretty uh, pretty fuel safe. It's not really lacking power at all. So that's like things you just have to like, just test on your own. Cool, nice. Somebody left the UODs for me. That's good. Go sell this one. I'm not getting a spare wheel. That, that stuff catches up. low the active makes it really good that, that is very very true rooftop I don't want any of this junk I kind of like this one I always like this one <laughs> really care honestly okay wait let's change the color i do like that all right i'm gonna catch up with chat here in a second uh yes Yishkandia, welcome thank you hey thanks appreciate that i appreciate that man thank you so much for stopping in and giving me that compliment definitely appreciate it Um, yeah, Luke, that's a good, that's a good question. Um, I just wanted, I wanted more trucks that could haul fuel. I needed m more dedicated fuel trucks. So if I didn't buy the Ford CLT, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to take out all of my, um, my fuel from Michigan. So, and there's always spots that I can put them as well. So those two, I'm going to put, um, as like forward, forward fuel trucks. So it's kind of like how I talk about on my on my reviews. Oh, I actually might use the blue looks good. Yeah, we're gonna use the blue today. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna go pick up this cargo from uh, go pick up this bed. I mean, Yeah, that's a good that's a good question. It's a good question, Luke, but tech kind of answered that. The Ford is a really capable truck. I mean like honestly, like I plan on using both the Transtar and the Ford as like forward mobile tankers. And I'm gonna try to get them to places that um, I, I didn't before. But especially like when you when you have like a lot of roads like it's not it's not very smart to take a truck like that you would use for like hauling or a better support vehicle and use it strictly as a fuel truck that's not being used you know what i'm saying so that's kind of like my my thought process behind it you know fuel mobile tankers like you want to move them a few times you might have to go rescue some people here and there but Usually, for me, they just stay in place. I'll drive to a location, set them up, and then they'll just refuel people that come by. Let's 
Looks like I'm gonna catch up on chat. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Redeem, you think so? Yeah, I think that... If the Tatra... I think the simple fix for the Tatras is... I would love to see a low saddle. Especially on the Phoenix. I would love to see a low saddle on... Honestly, I'd love to see a low saddle on all of them. Hey, what's up, Nani? Welcome in. Happy Sunday. Is anybody uh, watching football today? Can anybody tell me the score of the game? Okay, let's switch trucks here. Detach. I'm gonna whip this guy around here, get him out somewhere. Step. Where's he at? About the base slash more powerful engine, more fuel mileage. Sometimes engine gives a little more power. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. Basically, my point is is you can. You know, I recommend using whatever fits you the best. You know, I was using base engines, and some trucks I will not use a higher engine. Like, as you've seen on the step here, I'm using the S, but it has good fuel mileage. I won't use the higher, the highest engine because it's just going to chew up more fuel. So it, it's, it depends on your balance. Like, if you're not worried about money... Pop, pop the biggest engine on there and then, you know, send it. But if you're trying to, you know, save money, be kind of efficient, which hard mode is all about, yeah, then... Okay, so... I'm going to do this, this contest, actually. I'm going to stop right here. I'm gonna move this CLT to this corner, kind of. See if I can fuel him from here. No, I can't. But yeah, here's here's a huge example. Actually, I'm gonna give you a huge example of why I kind of like changed my stance on. I would start with a base engine and move your way up. Because, and here's here's a couple reasons. The Western Star, I can't really break it out. Actually, hold on. Yeah, because it's still in the thing. The Western Star, its base engine, anytime, anybody has used this in Michigan, in Smithfield Dam, when you're going up those hills and you don't have the top engine in this thing, it struggles. And it will struggle. So it's like... Do you want to struggle more but have better fuel efficiency or do you just want to power through things and chew up more fuel? It's kind of like basically the question that you have to ask yourself. Same thing with the P16 um, and the P12. Like I was thinking about using their small engines, but I just didn't think it was worth it. I'd rather have the, the power to actually pull things and to move you know, these big hunks of metal because they're just super heavy trucks. It just, it's all, it's all dependent. The Western Star? Yeah. Yeah, it's just all dependent. Okay, so now let's go. We're going to do this oil field. I'm going to grab these metal beams, start here, 
And I'm going to try to figure out a good pathway. Let me, I'm going to map this out and then we'll just go grab it and run. This is probably the easiest route I can think of. I know up here on these mountains are not tough. Okay, that's good. Pretty good mapping. Okay, let's go. And then another thing is um, a big, a big thing actually that determines fuel economy is going to be your gearbox. Anytime you have the high range, like it says the high range doesn't use as much, and I've kind of said it, it doesn't use as much on my gearbox selection. But the thing is, if you're running high range and you're on moderate terrain, your your RPM cap is going to be a lot higher. So you're going to be pushing out more power, more powers, more fuel. So keep that in mind as well. Appreciate that. Thank you. We should be okay. The step's a good old boy. I just hope Luke is here to actually see it. Yeah, if you use the basic gearbox, I mean, if you if you don't mind, you know, when you have to use low, just one setting of low, that's totally fine. It's all, uh, with the base gearbox, you're going to get the best. Okay, so let's try to maneuver this. We're, we're gonna try, Luke. We're gonna try. Try to get somewhat of like a running start, I guess. All right. Yeah, I know I know that I use Condia, but I'm I'm fine with uh, just doing as is. I want to see how the truck performs. I mean, I cheese I cheese enough. You know, with stacking cargo on top of my truck and all that other jazz. So, I just want to do it straight up. This is a good contest. I'm not really a fan of these contests, but like the ones in Zimnagorsk are actually kind of fun. Yo, Soil Sarbaz, thank you for stopping in. Not sure what you just said there, but thank you for stopping in. Happy Sunday. I'm not sure if that's a link or not. But yeah, as you can see, the step is pretty powerful. Metal beams are uh, pretty heavy, <laughs> and he, he just pulled that up that hill. And man maneuvered pretty well past those boulders, so. Step's not bad.
Yeah, the contests at night with cockpit is, yeah, they're not fun. <laughs> those are, uh, those can get kind of really uh, annoying. Yeah, everyone just really chooses to use trucks that have, uh, you know, the big tires, all that stuff. But this, honestly, this is like a Russian truck that feels like an American truck. So, I like it. It's, it does the job. We're definitely going to get gold. We have seven minutes to complete this. Or I forget, it might be five. But I mean, I haven't come out of high gear yet. So, it's got the power. Uh, I'm going to cut through. Now I'm going to... Oops, what am I doing? Oops, sorry. I meant to hit, um, what's it called? Throw in high gear and then throw diff lock on. I accidentally hit the quick menu and then busted out the, the crane. minutes flat not bad so you've been trying to play more in the cockpit view highway trucks are actually pretty good at it yeah they are that's the thing some trucks have really good like view out of the actual cockpit yeah exactly Yushkandi Yushkandia yeah exactly man okay so I actually did it pretty good. It only used, it only burned a little bit of fuel. So what we're gonna do now, I'm actually gonna come down here to the sawmill and I'm gonna grab, I'm trying to think. I wanna do another contest with the step, but I'm just trying to think what or what route. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. The SD, the SD is a good truck, honestly. The SD kind of feels like this, but not as powerful. Probably not as balanced either. It's still a good truck. It just everything gets like overshadowed by, you know, the hype, I guess. Which which is valid. The hype is valid. If, if you think about it, like, not a lot of people like. Here, okay, so here's like the thing. Um, there's like a, I think it's like some type of award you get for driving like 1,000 kilometers or something like that. It's like 100 or 1,000 kilometers, and only 11% of gamers that have played this game have completed that. Three million copies have been sold of this game, and if you look on like Twitch or any type of streaming platforms, like not a lot of people are playing this game. So what, what, what it is, it's because like things take too long to do. So what's happening is like people are turning to like mods or like really strong trucks just to get contracts done really fast. Do you know what I mean? Because if you think about it, if you work all day, you come home and you're like, hey, I want to play this game, but I don't want to take four hours to complete one contract. Like you're going to grab a truck that's going to be able to do something like now. You know what I mean? It's like that now factor. Well, I'm gonna slow down, catch up with chat real quick. I've always, I've always used the, um, oh wait, I know what you're talking about. 
on that one. You can use the, the off-road. I've all, I've used the off-road on most of the contracts or most of the contacts. Con test, Luke. Sorry. But that one you can use the high range. The one you have to go all deliver the barrels of oil. That one's kind of long, but you can use the um the off the off road and still get it done. You just have to pick your routes really good. You have to pick your routes really good, and you have to like um what's it called? Just mess with your gear settings a lot. Yep, that's true. That's true, Muffin. Yeah, that's another another good good point, uh, Yushkanda. That's that's a good point. It is like an off-road simulator. Like, there's not a lot of storyline. And you know, honestly, like, I don't even know how I found out about this game. You know, I was a guy that played like World of Warships. Uh, you know, like Warcraft, stuff like that. You gotta buy a stored heavy trucks, nice. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, I'm going right away. Yeah, tech it is. When you're on Twitch, like usually only like a couple people are even talking. That's kind of like whenever I, I want to like, if I'm not really feeling talking much, I'll stream on Twitch. If I'm if I'm really want to like engage with people and I'm like I have a lot of energy, um, I absolutely come to YouTube. You can definitely have like good conversations on YouTube. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let me turn this off. We are going to take this to the warehouse. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Yo, Reaper, welcome in. Okay, sweet. This is what we're gonna do. My route is gonna be a little bit different because I wanted to I want to avoid something. So I'm gonna come across this bridge. I'm probably gonna have to stop here and get fuel. Come up here. This way. This way. Down here. What in the world? Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then up back to town. Sweet, eight minutes. Pretty sure I can do it eight minutes. Avoid the river? Oh, I'm absolutely avoiding the river. That's why I'm going the, the long route. The river to just chew up all my time. Yo, Mr. Frost, welcome in. Nothing much, man. I'm just trying to... Uh, I broke out the Step 310 Echo. Let's see. Is it four planks here? Four planks. All right, I'm going to go grab these four planks real quick. Thank you for busting my suspension. <laughs> Goodness. up a little bit here so I can actually throw these in there relatively quick in the world. so this is like a little glitch it does it's like it doesn't want to grab anything you only took the river to do this yeah I try to avoid the river like the plague I 
I drove through that river so many times on previous playthroughs. Here's a little trick. This will still pack. Patrick T805 or Tuz16 Acteon. Um, I'm gonna probably take the Acteon. I think the Acteon has more um, more things you can do with it. Plus it has the autonomous winch. So you know you could you could technically use the Acteon as like a crossover. The the, the Acteon is weird, man. So like the Warthog doesn't have the uh, the autonomous winch. The Acteon does. They both have those big fat tires. So like you could use it as a scout, but you also could use it as like a hauling vehicle. And they also gave it the one slot bed. So it's super helpful to do that in like Lake Cove where there's like those missions where you just pick up one piece of cargo or you can use it for other things, you know, the 805, they're both, they're all kind of squirrely whenever they drive really fast, but I think I'm going to take the Acteon. I think the, the X factor is the autonomous winch. When you have the ability to save yourself with a truck that's outside of the scout class, it's uh, it's pretty nice. Any tips for logging? You're going back and forth three times to sell the trailer. Um, yeah, Jack. I actually can. There's, there is. What uh, what map are you on? Uh, Frost. So tech, tech that the only thing is you're talking about a scout. The Acteon is just an, an off-road truck. Okay, so we're going to stop by and grab fuel from the Ford. But first, what I'm going to do is to make this like quicker, I'm going to fill up the Ford. So then I can combine just siphon out of him because you can't siphon out of, oh gosh. You can't siphon out of uh, gas tanks when you're in another truck. So here we go. Okay, let's hold on. I'm gonna answer this question first before I go. You're in Russia? Okay, so here's what I do. Um, I'll go over and kind of show you my last contract that I'm doing for logs. It's called test flight. Okay, so what I'm doing right here. Yeah, so what I do is um frost what I'll bring a semi-trailer. Um, this is the truck I use for long logs and it also has a logging crane on it too So what I'll do is I'll park a semi trailer next to it with a truck Load all the sets in there. I'll load myself and then I'll just go to that location And that's really what I do if you have the the Aramatsu Forester The great thing about the Forester is you can just throw logs in the back of its cradle and then use its uh, its crane to like pin them down, like keep the crane open, and then just pin them down to it, and it works great. I use that so much in the new, in the new uh, phase six. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. I'm gonna have to map this out again because I swapped, but yeah. Okay, never mind. We're good. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Nighttime. Nighttime ops. Yo, Nini, what's up? Welcome in. Happy Saturday. Yeah, but um, Frost, their um, logs are just tough, man. But yeah, I would just load them in a semi bed like this and just do it that way. But if you have the Forester, that's another good way to do it. Okay, 
Okay, so we should be good. We have a ton of time. Yeah, honestly, they might feel like they're kind of like that. You know, more for co-op, just for... It's a good point. Maybe they did. Uh, Apostolos, I'm sorry I can't understand uh, what you're saying there, but... Welcome in, happy Saturday, or Sunday, wherever you are in the world. I mean, yeah, Reaper, that's, that's awesome, man. Logging missions, they're not too bad. I mean, they can get annoying at sometimes. But, I mean, most of, most of the time I just chill out, take my time, and not try to get frustrated about them. Just plan your routes really well. That's why, like, scouting is so important. Okay, we're gonna like, do a little drive-by, um, little drive-by, uh, fuel sash here. Oh yeah, you definitely test power of trucks with logs. Those logs are like the heaviest cargo in the game. hard to kind of like navigate when it's um, not daylight. There we go. Minor hiccup. It's more of an excuse to do the P16. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> The dairy, the dairy with those, uh, with the engine, with the old engine, it struggled a little bit. That's for sure. Still love it though. Still love it. Hey, I want to know: Has anyone flipped the P16 over? Just uh, let chat know how hard flipping the P16 over is. I don't know about you guys, but when you flip the P16 on its face, flipping that thing back over is not fun. Sweet. 
I mean, we had almost three minutes to spare there, so the step the step does really well. <laughs> I mean, shoot, you can't really ask for much more than that, you know? What I mean, tree stumps. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's kind of strange how they delay the the cargo turn in. That's true. I'm not really a fan of that. I've actually got silver on one contest because of that. Oh yeah, you can flip it if you wedge yourself to a tree. That's right, Muffin. That's all, like I always try to find a tree to flip heavier trucks over. <laughs> you flip the Tatron once. Oh man, the Tatron's rough. Yo, Juan Scott, welcome to the, the chat. Happy Sunday. You flipped the P-16 on the first bridge, you drove an island 30 seconds after finding it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's great. <laughs> what do I think about Rostov Oblast region? A lot of people say that it's their least favorite of the DLC maps. Um, Actually, I can go. What I'll do is I'll go to my other save and I'll kind of, um, I'll go to that map. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so which one? So we're talking about the Dawn region, Jack. Which map? You mean, or you just mean both of them? I think so. Like Rostov Oblast. Okay, I see at the top of there. Yeah. So my opinion of these, they're super small maps. Um, I'm not really going to do any like map reviews anymore for phase two. I just feel like um, there's just a ton of changes that happen literally like within a couple feet. So it, it would just be this map would be like a rainbow <laughs> if I were to like color code this stuff. Um, I really feel like these maps even though they're small, they're kind of hard going a little bit, but like everything just feels like, how do I say this? Like a, um, like a puzzle, I guess you would say. You can't do something without doing this other thing. And then there was this, um, the glitch where this tower, you couldn't open it up until like the last part of the game. It, it wouldn't give you a hundred percent. And then I found out you have to go back and actually like view the tower. It was, it's, it's weird. Um, let's go to the second map, actually. I think this map was kind of cool. It wasn't too bad. I think my favorite parts of this map are like, uh, maybe like over through here. This, this part kind of was pretty bad. Over here, not so much, but like, yeah, going through this little town was kind of cool. Finding the, finding the one truck there, the, the Phoenix was, was decent. It's just, they're small maps. But you just gotta, you know, you gotta work through it. Wait, Rostov Oblast? I think Rostov Oblast is, um, is the dawn. That's what it said in the description. Hitch trailers. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Hitch trailers are like, yeah, it's just it's t it's tough using them. I really feel like I'm I'm constantly using this, and I kind of want to like change it up for you guys and do something different. But it's just so hard using those. Okay, so now we're gonna start doing some. Um, what's it called? We're gonna start doing some contracts. And we're not doing that one yet. <laughs> the rift, no. That's the rift, that's the rift. Okay, cool, wait. Service trailer, oil rig. Okay, I have to do that later. So I'll just do this one. 
peer recovery. So we need slabs. We need slabs and we need oversized cargo down to the pier. Cool. So what I'll do, I'll actually just use the step here. That's a weird, I can't do that again because I've done it three times. Okay, so we're gonna go grab these concrete slabs from the quarry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna go do it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna handle it well. I have, I have faith in the, in the old step. I mean, if you guys want to see somebody do some crazy stuff, go watch District. Go watch District on on Twitch. Man, that guy. He does some crazy things. Um, I think so. I think you have to do... There's like a little mission chain you have to do. I forget actually what the fine details of it. But I know it has to do with the... Um, the seismic vibrator thing. I think there's, yeah, there's some type of chain. I forget the chain. If you look through the contracts, I think they actually, sh it's like, they'll say. Uh, not there. It's the next one. Yeah, there's like scanning missions and then I'm not sure what else. Oh, wasn't paying attention there. Could have been bad. Yeah, man, sure. Anytime. Actually, let me uh let me see if I can help you a little bit more here. Take a second, guys, hold on. I think it's called Looking Beyond the Horizon. And then and then I think it might be Geosearch or starting point, those geosearch and looking geological exploration. Look at those and then look at the um, what the rewards are. So when you actually go to these, like look at what it says, like what the rewards are. So this one's like access to the warehouse. This one might say like open opens like the quarry gate or something like that. That's what that's how you'll know. But there are YouTube videos on those things as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, there you go. Frost Frost has it. Thank you, uh, Frost. Appreciate that. Yeah, they are painful. I, I still have to do one more. And, uh... Okay, wait, I know there's stumps here. I know there's there's one. Gosh, those stumps, man. You gotta watch out for those. Oh, no, yeah. I remember when I first got the Tamir, I was trying to open up gateways, and I was like, this is not real. They shouldn't be locked like this. So, yeah, I definitely know your pain. not we're definitely loading these manually saving money oh 
appreciate that. Thank you, Yashkanda. I try, man. I mean, even... Even sometimes, even if you have skill, the game just... It'll troll you. Yeah, things will just go. They won't go expected. Yo, District B13 Gaming. What is up, man? Guy, everybody that... I was just talking about District just a minute ago. If you haven't checked him out on Twitch, check out District B13 underscore U on Twitch. He just started that hardcore mode I was talking about where he's going in uh, reverse mode. He currently has a 100% hardcore mode that he already completed and now he's doing another hardcore mode where he goes in reverse. So he's actually starting in main and then working backwards. So it'll be main, dawn, amour, and then so on and so forth. So definitely check him out. District, are you streaming today at all? Because I, I, I want to be there for this. I'm actually going to back up this freaking ramp. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just going to go forward. What am I doing? I can make it through this stuff. The old step. The old step. The rocks hidden underneath the snow and mud. Oh my gosh. I think, like, another thing about the dawn, they, they would hide these huge boulders in these mud pits. And you'd be going through all of a sudden, all of a sudden, boom. Your, your truck would be, like, almost upended. Okay, I'm trying to take this wide here because this is, like, a... This is not fun. Look at that. Step. Step on who? Ooh, should I make this turn? I think I'm going to try. Let's try it. Oh, nice, man. Yo, what's up, Mr. Zeller? Thank you for stopping in. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a good day. do is winch this up, winch this end. Now let's see if I can get it going here. I want to go this way so bad. There we go. There we go. Oh, you might go live in a bit? Nice, man. But if you do, I'll definitely be catching you there. I'll stop by for sure. Probably gonna go get something to eat after the stream. But yeah, guys, if you have not checked him out, please go over and check out District B13 underscore U. District, could you uh, type in your, your Twitch name? Twitch follows are free, guys. All you have to do is literally make a profile, and you can watch um, watch streams on Twitch. Finish this so I can do reverse mode. Man, it's like exciting though. I, I mean, reverse mode seems so exciting right now. Because I want to use the cat CT681 so bad. Yeah, they should. That's a good one, Luke. So, Luke, what do you think now? Um, since you've seen the, the step in action, what do you think about the step now? Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Zeller. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for stopping in. Twitch is a... It's kind of like YouTube, but it's strictly like a streaming website. So everybody who streams games, you can go in there and watch um, streamers that are playing video games and stuff like that. So there's a lot of really good streamers that play this game on Twitch. 
and District is probably the best. I'm gonna say it with confidence, he's the best. Like when I'm not here playing this, I'm usually hanging out in his uh, in his Twitch channel, watching him just uh, do some crazy things. But yeah, Twitch is completely free. All you have to do is just, uh, it's kind of like signing up for an email or like a YouTube channel, kind of like you guys have a YouTube uh, account here. It's the same thing. And then yeah, you can watch any, any video game you want to watch so they play. You can go pick whoever. Oh, you got two more trucks, really? That's awesome. Oversized cargo. Man, I should just put this thing on top of this, but I'm not going to. Oh, absolutely, man. We do learn from each other. Absolutely, man. You deserve it. Sweet, you got the extra cash. Nice, dude. So District, I heard something on Facebook today. Someone was saying that they've actually decreased um, the fuel costs like across the regions. This one guy was saying like it used to be like this certain price. It used to be 13, now it dropped to eight. And then the other one used to be five, now it dropped to three. I'm not really sure because I, I don't I haven't like really bought fuel, so I haven't been like keeping track of how much fuel is. But I don't know, I can't really confirm that. Up. Switch down a little. Try to take this turn a little bit wide here. I'm caught. I'm like rubbing on that. Which is fine, I guess. I'm just gonna move forward a little bit. Let's see. Can I get that? Can I get that? Great. Of course. <laughs> of course. What? I can't grab that? Are you serious? Okay, here's where I'm actually going to cheese it. So there's a little trick, guys. You can unpack your cargo. I don't like doing that, but I think I was caught there. It ranges between two and eight always. Okay. You know what? I don't know. That's a good uh, question, Muffin. I thought New Game Plus was going to be something like a little bit different, but maybe that's what they meant. these boulders here because uh, those are nasty 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 oh no don't no don't hit that one I'll catch up on chat here a second sorry all right Reaper thanks for coming in man appreciate that have a wonderful Sunday Reaper we'll see you later so there's two types of trucks in this game that's what you said Yep, 
challenge or just straight up like make the game easier that's basically in a nutshell <laughs> yeah yep No, I don't think New Game Plus is already out. I'm not even sure what that is, honestly. Nine out of ten to load one out of ten logs, one through ten logs. Yeah, that's pretty darn hard. Uh, I'm not sure. No, hard mode wasn't end of season one. Hard mode, I think, was around... I think season four. I think season four was hard mode. Because I remember they didn't have a hard mode in season two. That's when I started watching District. And he was doing like a backwards, self-imposed hardcore mode. Um, there was a lot of people doing like self-imposed hardcore modes before that. I'm pretty sure it was either at the end of Wisconsin or when a moor came out. What's up, Jimmy boy? Welcome in. Happy Saturday. I think. I can't confirm that, though. Okay, shut this engine now for a second. Cool. All right, guys. So we're going to go get this other piece of cargo. It's oversized, and then that is going to be my stream for today. After phase four? Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know. I hope New Game Plus... I don't know. I say this every stream, but I want a, an upgrade randomizer. I hope New Game Plus means, like... I don't know. They make you do the map in different order. They scramble all the upgrades in the game. Something like that. go by and get some gas. Actually, I should be able to make it back. Yeah, I'll make it back. So we'll get back to the garage, get this oversized cargo, bring it back, and then we'll just wrap it up for the day. It's been a great stream, too. We've got a lot done today. We did some contests. We did the rest of the tasks. We did, we started the con, what's it called? We started the um, contracts. So we definitely made some progress here. Yeah, that's true. That'd be a good one too. Yishkandia, you know it'd be cool if they took, like, if they made the ranks harder to climb. Like, make them significantly harder to climb. Like, I feel like I honestly was level 27 when I left um, Michigan. So, I w I'd like to see that change. I would like to be leaving Michigan at, like, level, I don't know, 8? Level 6? That'd be so sweet. Like, just increase the it would increase like how hard the game is that's what I would like to see and then like a, a, a randomizer it randomizes all the all the stuff in the game I don't know we can spitball forever but it's always gonna be up to the, to the developers if I had to keep one as off Jordan I'm gonna say the 64131 just because that's my that's my baby all right, District, thanks for coming in, man. I'll, uh, I'll definitely catch you in action here in a little bit. I'm probably going to go get something to eat after this. And then I'll be over to your stream to check you out for sure. <laughs> nice loading logs how you like. Nice, dude. Oh, yeah. That's a good that's a good point, Muffin. Honestly, if they just gave all American trucks OHDs, 
they would you would see a performance boost somewhat like the the boar the boar had the uod's and when it got the ohd's it it changed it it, it was just a different truck so i think that that's kind of what they should do. come on it's kind of like what they should do Yeah, it could go beyond level 30, but I just don't know what they would add. Prestige levels, maybe? Where it, like, it kind of, like, strip you of everything, and then you have to, like, build your way back up. Who knows? Honestly, who knows? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's go get this cargo. James Sinyard, welcome in. Quentin, welcome in. Happy Saturday, guys. If you're not watching football or anything like that, thank you for stopping in and hanging out with us. You just finished Michigan. You're already level 20. Dang, man. Yeah, I, I finished Michigan on this playthrough. I think it was actually my normal mode. And they just added so many new contracts that, you know, you level up almost to max level. Semi-trailer won't turn on the connection points. James, I haven't had that problem. I I've never seen that. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's pretty frustrating. You were you're eating and you're watching and now you're playing. Nice. I kind of do the same things. Like when I watch District, I'll uh, I'm he actually made me a moderator in his channel, so I usually watch his. I usually watch while I play. Oh no, I can't do it. Let's see if I can get it like inside the bed and then I'll push it. Let's see if it, it might pack. No. Sorry guys, I had to do that real quick. Um, Jordan, no. I, I've never talked to him before. I do know his channel. He, uh, he has some really good stuff. He plays a lot more games than I do, though. I basically exclusively play this. I just don't, I don't have the time to really play much other than this, stream this, make content for this because of, you know, family and stuff. But yeah, I, I do like him. He's, he's awesome. The UODs, I'm going to say two. UOD two, like these, these ones are right here. The ones that have like the most like tread looking. But I mean the other ones, other ones are going to work too. What is a good truck for phase four? Oh gosh, I keep smashing myself. Um, phase four. I mean, all the Vorons are gonna do really well. The Tegas are gonna do really well. The Azovs are gonna do really well as, as well. Um, I would say you mu a must have is the cat, uh, the big cat, 745C. I probably put a fuel, fuel carrier on him. Um, just because the super snow and stuff like that, it's good to have. The Azov Antarctic is actually going to be relatively useful in some areas there, but on flat surfaces. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have to, you know. You gotta um, improvise sometimes. Let's see if I can swing this where I don't get caught this time. There we go. Nice. Yeah, man. Any anytime. It, it honestly just depends. I think you, you can use more trucks than that. Um, in my opinion, it just depends on your your comfort levels. I'm gonna answer this question. 
So the way the trend looks actu actually affect the grip. I always went with the largest tires. Mud and chain. Yeah, Voron grad for phase four is gonna be nice. Um, so Jordan, yeah, there's like a rating a rating system on map map runner. So it, honestly, man, I like to make things simple. Like I don't want to get too far into this whole like <laughs> effective grip thing because last stream I kind of showed some some footage of a friend, of the guy who does a lot of testing for me. Um, he has his own mod map. He does tire testings and stuff like that. Like we found out some really crazy stuff from his his footage. And uh, not to go too far into it, but I would say if you're going to to an ice region, it's short, short and simple. I'll just stick the chains. And then if I'm on a mud region, I usually stick to. Um, regular uh, mud tires or UODs or UHDs, etc. Just to make things very simple. You know, the grip values for those are going to vary, but I think the only map I did not use chains, which was like half, half mud, half snow, was main. Main, you can definitely get away with just using um, the regular mud tires, UODs, UHDs, or I mean, um, OHDs, sorry. UHDs are, are highway. <laughs> the Voron Grad is an awesome truck, that's for sure. Okay, it swivels now? Nice. Awesome, so it's fixed. see here okay kick this back on sweet let's turn this in it's a lot of concrete slabs just for you would have to bring like 10 shipments to get that Cool, now I got that warehouse open. But anyways... Anyways guys, that is gonna be it for me today. I don't have, I didn't have a ton of time today to uh, hang out and stream. So we did, I think it was like a two and a half hour today. A little bit over two hours. So I didn't have much time, but um, this week I'm gonna have a short video on the new upgrades for those trucks in Maine. And then um, I'm still working on the Voron AE um, review. So that's something that's gonna be in the works coming up soon. Concrete came from a magic, <laughs> magic air. Yeah, basically. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here, get some food, maybe watch some football today. If you're a football fan, some playoffs are on today. If not, then hey, um, go check out District B13 underscore U on Twitch. You'll probably see me over there as well. But anyways, have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for coming out and hanging out with me. It's been awesome. So until next time, guys, God bless and stay upright. We'll see you later.